Welcome to St. Bennet's Abbey. I'm Graham James, the Bishop of Norwich and also the Abbot of St. Bennet's. It's a unique combination in the Church of England that the title of the Abbot was not suppressed at the Reformation but continues into the present day. This wonderful site is a place still of prayer and a place where people who are seeking uh, God come to pray and to worship, especially on the first Sunday in August. The monks went beside the river because it was such a, a naturally spiritual place to be. And one of the things that's so striking is that people still go to St. Bennet's Abbey and have a sense of the presence of God there because they feel it to be a very thin place, a place where the life of the Spirit seems very close um, to ordinary everyday life. So as time has gone on, um, people have found um, St. Bennet's Abbey to have a new spiritual purpose. It's a place of pilgrimage uh, and not simply uh, on the day of the annual service. It's a place that people want to go to. I do hope that you will find this an inspiring place to be and one which prompts in you a sense of peace and well-being. And I'm going to read a prayer written by T.S. Eliot, which he incorporated into his choruses from the rock in praise of God, the Light Invisible. O Light Invisible, we praise thee, too bright for mortal vision. O greater light, we praise thee for the less. The eastern light our spires touch at morning, the light that slants upon our western doors at evening. The twilight over stagnant pools at bat flight, moonlight and starlight, owl and moth light, glowworm glow light on a grass blade, O light invisible, we worship thee. We thank thee for the lights that we have kindled, the light of altar and of sanctuary, small lights of those who meditate at midnight, and lights directed through the coloured panes of windows, and light reflected from the polished stone the gilded carven wood, the coloured fresco. Our gaze is submarine, our eyes look upward and see the light that fractures through unquiet water. We see the light, but see not whence it comes. O light invisible, we glorify thee.